Hey, welcome back to Even the Sparrow Homestead. I'm Dustin, and today we're gonna go through the Butcher Box subscription program. I did receive a box of, I subscribed to their meat um, subscription service. And uh, right now we're gonna cut to a video. I received a box, I just wanted to test it out, show you what I got, weigh it down and break down the cost of everything. And then I'll bring you back and do a little follow up. So here we go. Okay, so we received the butcher box today, so let's open it up and see what we got. So this package, um, as I mentioned, I ordered the, uh, I didn't get the family plan, it was just the, the smaller family, it was like two to four people. So there's supposed to be nine to 14 pounds of meat in here. So it's quite a variance, so um, let's see what we got. This appears to be, just some packaging, um, just a little foam, and then yeah, dry ice, and then a little bit more insulation. So now to the good stuff. Got a package of bacon, um, uncured. Looks like we got a couple of uh, filet, grass-fed beef filet mignon. I mean, I need to know. <laughs> filet mignon. Filet mignon. <laughs> got a couple of those. Um, let's see, a couple pork loin chops. These are huge. Got a top sirloin. Let's see, chicken breast. How much should I weigh each? So, this is um, a three pound package, so a pound each on that. And we got four pounds of ground beef. So, Total price that I paid on this package, I did a, I had a, I think I used the Joe Rogan coupon. We got 20 bucks off. I tried to use uh, the Stivers coupon, but they already, uh, they already used that or it was used up. So I got $20 off the order. So total on this cost me roughly 130 something dollars. That includes shipping to my front step and I did not have to go to Walmart or some grocery store in town, especially with everything going on. So, total amount of meat for the dollars. Total we got here is probably about 11 and a half pounds of meat. So the only thing that was organic was the chicken breast. Now, all the beef and the pork, everything certified, humane, grass-fed, uh, completely grass-fed, grass-finished. Uh, the bacon has no sugar, it's Whole30 certified, um, no antibiotics, no nitrates, so, the quality of meat is there, so what was the cost per pound? Comes up to be about $10.86. It's a little spendy, but I like to take into account that I didn't have to run to the store. You ain't gonna find most of this quality meat at Walmart, which is all we really have in our area is a Walmart or maybe travel an hour to get to a, a decent grocery store. So. That is what we got in the butcher box. So why do you want to order from butcher box? I'm going to go through the pros and cons that I've thought of from ordering through butcher box. Uh, so pros number one would be convenience. Uh, they deliver straight to your door. I can order online, choose the meats I want, the packages that I want and all from the comforts of home. So that is a great convenience, especially in these times. So number two, the quality of meats, uh, delicious. I had some ground beef the other day and some pork chops. Uh, that probably the best meat I've had in a long time. And number three for a pro would be the selection. Online when you're ordering, you can uh, decide what types, if you want pork, chicken, beef, you can have a custom box made, choose the, the selection that you want. 
Uh, and so just having those options is a good thing, especially with the lack of options in the grocery stores nowadays. So that would be the, the pros of why I would choose Butcher Box. Now for the three cons. Number one, it is expensive. I'm sure there's way better deals um, by just going locally. But, you know, as mentioned, you are getting it delivered to your house. So, yeah, in these times, you want to go out and risk it, that's up to you. Um, but it is expensive, it's a little bit spendy. Uh, the number two con would be that it's subscription based. You do have to sign up, and then if you forget that, you know, oh, I guess I'm getting a delivery. You're just gonna get some meat delivered to your home and uh, it's something you need to keep on top of. Number three would be that you're not supporting your local community, local ranchers, local farmers. Now I know if you go to Walmart, you're probably not supporting them locally either. They're getting the meat from probably imported somewhere. And um, I mean, you are, if you're going through Butcher Box, you do support the local, or not local, but you are supporting ranchers and farmers. and. Uh, throughout the states but you know where we live in Missouri I could definitely need to do a little bit of research and see if I could find someone locally it would probably be more cost effective and um, helps the community so I hope this helps you in future and until next time bye